entrepreneurship is not just about making money, it's about making a difference and making an impact. So that's when I went from being rejected in sales to finally back into this realm of entrepreneurship and exploring it, uh, of what it meant. So from there, that was, you know, my job change from chef to programmer to um, bail, bailing salesmen into entrepreneurship. That's beautiful. So what was that aha moment? You just said it, right? That it wasn't about making money, it, wasn't, it was about making a difference. But what specifically happened? How, how did that aha moment came to you for you to know, wow, I can make a difference in this world. And that is what entrepreneurship is all about. What, what exactly happened? Raymond Tran is an active entrepreneur. He runs Media Zen Digital, a marketing startup servicing small businesses, personalities, and mid sized corporations with social media management, content creation, and website design. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy Viteri. So, thank you very much, Ray Tram here, uh, for accepting our invitation to come here on the show. I'm really excited uh, for this interview. And actually, the very first time that I came across your Instagram uh, feed, uh, it was because I saw this one post where you were, I believe it was Disney, and you had published a picture with you and your mom. And you put right. there that um, actually that you didn't like taking pictures with your mother when you were younger. Mm -hmm. And you actually were recognizing the value of taking pictures with your parents, but you recognize that now. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that experience and how you now see the value of taking pictures with your parents and the memories that that brings to you now and why that is important in life. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me on the show, Sandy. It really means a lot to me to be able to share my experience. Um, so in regards to uh, that experience, just posting that con piece of content of going to Disney with my mom uh, when I was younger, um, I was just a really prideful kid. I, I hated taking pictures and, and it could be something about insecurity. It could be anything, but I didn't want to take pictures of my mom because it was just it meant being childish. It meant being not grown up, not cool. So um, that's why I said my mom's like, like, hey, Raymond, come here, take pictures, take pictures. And I'm like, no, why would I? Why would I want to do that? Like, that's so embarrassing. But he's like, no, it's like for memories. I'm like, why? I'm not even gonna look at this photograph, right? Like, I'm not even gonna look back at it. Why not experience it in person? And that perhaps could be more valuable, right? And um, but then, you know, she begged long enough and I'm like, all right, fine. I'll take one picture. Just one though. Just one. Mm -hmm. and, and that one picture uh, is, is such a great memory. And I hold it very dear to, to me and I keep it to on my computer folder because it's just so valuable to, um, it just unexpected. It's unexpected value. Like it's something that just, it's like a stock that just randomly just surged up. It's like, wow. Like I didn't know um, something like this so small could become so dear. Uh, to me. So that piece of content was just something to, to show to everybody that um, as you get older, like, like your parents are getting older, and the time that you spend with your family um, is really precious because while, you know, we may be here for a longer time, their time is getting shorter. And um, seeing that photo once again really reminded me of what was important. And, and, you know, the fact that if I did not take that picture, if I didn't take that picture, I wouldn't have it here today. Like I wouldn't, know it I would remember the moment and that's what really taught me about you know posting content it's not just about updating people about your lives it's about documenting your life and looking right. down that path five years later and realizing how far you've come and what that moment <laughs> sounded like how it felt like and documenting that journey because as humans we're we're meant to grow and we're meant to progress as as beings and if we're just you know focused on our present not looking on our past or our future then um, I honestly say we're not fulfilling our what we're cr being created for. So, yeah, right. that, that picture of my mom really means a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is exactly why I wanted to connect with you and why you, you personally actually caught my eye and my attention, you know, sharing that thought with many other people so they can learn from you the value of 
um, appreciation for what they have today. Let's take you back in time now. So you very, the very first uh, job that you thought about, you wanted to be a chef, an Asian chef, and that it was in fifth grade, right? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> After that, you were a door-to-door salesperson in seventh and eighth grade. Then after that, you went into a conference on ninth grade. And I believe that is the first time when you decided to start looking into your entrepreneurial journey. So right. why don't you talk to us about that transition from being a chef to a salesperson mm-hmm. to an entrepreneur? Yeah. Um, so when I went to be a chef, it was, it was a really empty thing. I mean, when I was when I was in grade five, grade six, like a lot of my friends used to joke with me, like, hey, you're Asian, maybe you'd be a great chef. And like, you know, a lot of those stereotypical, like joking around things. And, and that really gave me the attention I needed. That gave me the identity, right? So I just thought, you know, I'm gonna be a chef, I'm gonna be a chef. And then, you know, saying all that as a little kid, until I grew up to, you know, grade, grade eight, and I was like, you know, I want to be a programmer. And I think, over our lives, like you never really know what you want to do um, until it, it's all like a steady like realization, like that progress, right? Sometimes one day you'll wake up, you want to do something else. And mm-hmm. that's just how we are, right? Um, but what you truly want to do really comes down to this just experiencing new things one by one. So yeah, so I went from a head, sh- like being a chef to want to be a programmer. Um, didn't like that too much. And then in grade nine, Great, around grade seven to eight, I did a lot of door to door sales and I used to, you know, go on eBay and like buy all sorts of items and say, Hey, maybe I could sell these. And I remember selling uh, those beanie hats, right? Like we wear on your head for the winter. Hey. And I, you just see this little kid going door to door. And when the neighbors, you know, open the door, you see this kid showing you what's inside his backpack and like, Hey, I'm selling these beanies. Would you like one? And and uh, I remember getting rejected a lot of times, but very kindly because I was just a little kid back then. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, ever since then, being rejected so many times, I just stopped entrepreneurship. I just like, you know, like, man, this sucks. Like, I hate being told no all the time. And this is so, um, it's so heartbreaking. So once I went into, you know, that heartbreak, I just stopped completely. And my brother invited me to a business conference. And that business conference is called Cairo Society. And they seek to invite some of the world's best entrepreneurs together to solve global problems. And I was too young at the time to- At this point, you to, were in ninth grade, right? Yeah, around there. Um, right. I was too young to, to enter. So I was only that, that many years old. And um, so I decided to volunteer instead. So I got this 15, 16 year old kid with a bunch of 20 year old university students is volunteering and, and learning about entrepreneurship. And it was that conference in that day that I learned that entrepreneurship is not just about making money. It's about making a difference and making an impact. So that's when I went from being rejected in sales to finally back into this realm of entrepreneurship and exploring it, uh, of what it meant. So from there, that was, you know, my job change from chef to programmer to um, fail, failing salesman into <laughs> entrepreneurship. That's beautiful. So what was that aha moment? You just said it, right? That it wasn't about making money. It, wasn't, it was about making a difference. But what specifically happened? How, how did that aha moment came to you for you to know, wow, I can make a difference in this world. And that is what entrepreneurship is all about. What, what exactly happened? So uh, when I was there, being, being rejected again, it was... It was bad. It was just like, wow, I, how am I going to earn money? How am I going to earn a profit? But when we went to that conference, it was different. Like, how am I going to change your life? How am I going to um, impact the lives of other people around the world? How are we going to solve this issue that impacts millions of people? And I think the weight behind that is just, it's way heavier and way, um, way more fun, actually, for me. Um, I like solving problems where I'm, I'm changing the lives of others. It just really sparked something in my heart. It's like, wow, like, I really love the fact that what I just made changed your life for the better. Instead mm-hmm. of, you know, I failed a sale, so I don't make any money today. Um, it could be the same thing in entrepreneurship, but you know that your end goal, you know what your end goal is, that I'm doing this for the better of someone else. And because of that, you have your why right there. And that why is going to push you through many things and you're not going to want to give up as easily, right? So right. I would say 
being an entrepreneurship to make a difference is, is much more powerful than doing it for yourself. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.